Who have been on the other way? We have the day to promise to myself and members to give the hand of the city of World Health for the next meeting of the Council. Can everybody up in the back here, okay, just raise your hand and just try to hear me? That's perfect. Thank you very much. Um, to ask in this case, I don't know whether you take a look at my post in the show or not. This is another area, uh, this is Monday. We have a fire test on Thursday at the fire alarm in Dock. It's serious, and if you please get your way forward to that, do it there before you take it to the United States. Thank you for that. It's anyway, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Promise me, Carmen. Present. Promise, Richard. Present. Thanks for the HSA. Mr. Alexander? Apologies. Mr. Balfour? Yes. Mr. Binney? Yes. Mr. Bissett? Yes. Mr. Black? Yes. Mr. Black, please? Yes. Mr. Bowes? Yes. Mr. Coleman? Yes. Mr. Polly? Yes. Mr. Cruz? Yes. Mr. Flynn? Yes. Mr. Garner? Yes. Mr. Bogey? Yes. Mr. Grant? Apologies. Mr. Harris, Mr. Hughes, Mr. Kerr, Mr. Hugh, Mr. McClushin, Mr. Nicholson, Mr. Monroe, Mr. Murta, Mr. Nipple, Mr. Mimmo, Mr. Patrick, Mr. Reed, and Mr. Spears. Okay, thank you. That's like the virus outbreak is genetically linked to the virus that caused the SARS outbreak in 2002. Such viruses usually circulate amongst animals. Some can transmit to humans and from human to human thereafter. This is one such virus. COVID-19 is the name of the disease that the virus causes. The particular causes for concern are that, firstly, the disease appears to be as transmissible as seasonal flu. Secondly, the current estimated mortality rate for COVID-19 is 20 to 30 per thousand people infected, much higher than the one per thousand for seasonal flu. This is likely to be due to the fact that it is a new disease in relation to which no one has prior immunity. Thirdly, it is likely to be widespread given the time. It appears that, like those affected by seasonal flu, those most at risk of succumbing to the disease are those considered to have health vulnerabilities. But given the ease of transmission and the lack of immunity, the impact is likely to be significant across the population. Work on a vaccine progresses at pace, but it is almost certain that this will not be available until after this particular outbreak is over. The strategy currently being pursued in the UK is one of early stage containment. This involves strong messaging around how to avoid contact with the virus, how to avoid becoming infected by the virus, and how to avoid passing it on. Those who consider themselves to be at risk of exposure are to self-quarantine and seek medical support. At the moment, this remains mostly around diagnosis, as confirmed cases still remain very limited. Information has been made widely available, and particularly through the NHS. 
There is provision for this strategy to be escalated if this is considered by government to be necessary. This would include progression via cancellation of mass gathering events, school closures, etc., through to the type of lockdown that has emerged in Italy over the weekend. Unfortunately, it is likely that the situation in Italy may further deteriorate, and other countries, including the UK, will be watching carefully to learn from the experiences there. Members may also be aware that the Prime Minister is chairing an emergency COBRA meeting later today to decide whether to bring in measures to delay the spread of the coronavirus in the UK. This could relate to social distancing, therefore reducing social contact, cancellation of major events, closing schools and the encouragement of home working. Overall, it is clear that we all have a role to play as individuals, as employers and employees, and as communities. On a more positive note, we already have a plan for something similar in place, and that is our pandemic flu plan, which is multi-agency. The East of Scotland Resilience Partnership has a resilience preparedness assessment, which is regularly reviewed. The most recent review was completed last year, and pandemic flu remains at the top of the risk register. Accordingly, the plan was given appropriate attention to ensure it was robust and fit for purpose. Since knowledge of COVID-19 began to emerge, the plan has been rechecked to ensure it is completely up to date. Within the plan, there is a heavy emphasis on partner agencies having robust business continuity plans in place. Each service in the Council and the Health and Social Care Partnership are discussing the detail of their plans within their respective management teams to be ready for their activation as that then approaches. These plans also have layers of activation, with the highest level being withdrawal to essential services only. A worst case scenario for COVID 19 suggests an infection rate of 80% over the full course of the event. Previous predictions for pandemic flu provide for up to 20% staff absence at peak due to illness and up to 50% for other reasons, for example, giving care to others. Our plan will be adjusted to fit as more information becomes available. But it is possible that we move to the position of essential services only, depending on the rate of spread and the advice provided as a result. Essential services include those to protect life and the prevention of significant harm to people, those to protect the environment from significant harm and bereavement services. <laughs> advice from a number of sources is community connected, and this is being collated via the resilience scheme. From the Government Action Plans and Guidance, the Pandemic Flu Plan, and information from mm -hmm. services and partners, we are compiling an internal action plan with which we will be operating. There is a meeting of the Fourth Valley Resilience Partnership on Tuesday. It is ready to act in line with developing advice and guidance emerging at the Government level. Action by the Council is partners with closure. We will be arranging regular updates for our external action plan and for this to be available as necessary. The Fourth Valley NHS Incident Team has been activated. Regular information bulletins are being provided to employees. These are mainly conveying advice provided by the NHS. This may escalate to encourage more people to work from home where possible. Updates will be provided regularly. All advice bulletins are directly with health advice being provided on a national level. We have relevant links on our website and via other social media platforms. Specific similar guidance has also been circulated to head teachers to follow in schools. Particular pressure is likely to be felt by social care teams. Those receiving care at home who come ill and care staff are potentially more vulnerable given the key role that they play. There will be a need to revisit risk assessments and ensure such staff have appropriate protection. There is already understanding that a major focus on getting people out of hospital and back home with care packages in order to clear beds and create capacity in hospitals. There may also be a need 
resiliency. There may be significant impacts on the economy, depending on the course of this case. If a major incident has occurred in our area, a recovery team will be set up immediately. Consider a recovery plan, which will include the economic impact. This plan will also consider the longer term impact on employees, some of whom might have been seriously ill and some of whom may have lost loved ones, as well as the impact on our business as a council. In summary, as members are well aware, this has the potential to be very serious for our community. Our response has to be measured and proportionate. We already have a strong planning platform in place to work on, and that work has already started. We will endeavour to ensure that relevant updates and information is provided at all times. Along with colleagues and colleagues in the chamber today from uh, resilience and education, Health and Social Care Partnership, and I'm always kind of happy to be able to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you. Thank you very much for the opportunity to be able to do the same thing. Thank you very much for the opportunity to be able to do the same thing. And thank you very much for the opportunity to be able to do the same thing. And thank you very much for the opportunity to be able to do the same thing. And thank you very much for the opportunity to be able to do the same thing. And thank you very much
So that's certainly done every day time with that constituent, but it, it, it did. It dawned on me that there must be many people in that same uh, boat, those of East Asian origin, who feel somehow that they are tainted by association with this terrible virus. So I think, Thomas, I would certainly like to see the chain of the night to send a message to those of East Asian ethnicity in our communities throughout all that, uh, that we are supportive uh, of you. Thank you. I'd like to ask Mr. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
such as Amazon specifically, payment to budget and for lease, um, to the extent that any additional revenue support grants that are available would be applied to uh, the reserves. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, any of my other colleagues have some information on whether there are any plans to revisit buffers in relation to the Westminster budget, but uh, I get the sense that uh, the council will be doing something to clear that up. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Mealy. Thank you, Mr. John. And thank you very much. I would like to say I'm on a similar view, and I absolutely appreciate that. I'm happy to have a question for any of the people who are in the room. I'm happy to give them a little bit of feedback on the group of questions. And uh, when we have uh, an opportunity in June to revisit the um, the, the, the council budget, and um, we will have further uh, details of this too, we will from um, the
The budget you think, I believe um, the supplement relies at 1.4% plus the annual piece of net. Um, those funds can be earmarked for capital purposes. Um, the budget papers have those requests to support those. Mm -hmm. Very much at hand, I believe that in first instance. But then we go on to the second quarter.
that we um, just made in terms of the, the questions and the um, what the process of the process is. Yeah, I wonder whether there's a question that we can address. In this recording, I don't know if that's the case, and I don't know if we personally have a sense that we don't think that we're going to go to the next and the world is going to go to the next. That takes us to item three B, which is the minutes of volume three. Any questions about this one? Regina, Rick, Okay, well, the I All right, well, Okay, then, the last is now the Thank you. 
schön, wenn das ist nicht gezeigt wird. Und wir sind ja sehr glücklich, wenn wir dann das haben, wenn wir das nicht mehr so machen, 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 You know, as they said, it was in the original connected draft, a quality back in September 2018, I think it was, and it was a good amount of activity, and it was a good amount of people who were making that speech, so currently, it is not identified as what was available in the public financial plan. Okay, and you take the one thing. Just a quick question. Can you tell us who your potential partner is going to be? The developer is going to be able to make sure that the business is taking place with the proper test of the team and buy a potential developer to develop the package that's going to be able to develop the full business and the financial part of the development. Should we get that from us in the end? Obviously, you have to identify your activities as part of your future plan application. Okay, then you should have a question. Just to ask if there's any traffic plan that you've got in the future. Yes, there is a traffic plan that you've got in the future. It's part of that, obviously, that's the benefit of the traffic plan. The traffic plan of the is a basic risk priority to all kinds of vehicles, so that is a decision to test the building, and that's the way it looks along the center of the site, to slow traffic down as you come off the technology store on the site, with the site to your left hand side. So it's a right traffic plan on the north of the road, and this is those measures to plan for the transport application, so that they have fairly detailed. Of the application, but they are also subject to follow up discussion and approval with the request of the local to see the plan for this contest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank 
not a safe country with a criminal safe and criminal violence and family research and war crime. The past time is quite an anti particular in the
reason that way. I mean, we report the fact that we have a frequent one uh, and so on. So, uh, so, uh, Peter Zeke wants to make a Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Wayne. I'm going to go to the members here. I think we will be careful in this topic. The message is not up to four of them in terms of the teaching and the wasting period is part of the units because the unit was taken this morning and they had to get them. There's no effect of one supply. I think the time was seven was 596, 599. And the hit is the period of the year was over 1,000. So, what's the calculation of that? Because the issue is that the media then in part of the cases came before us and then carried the issue for a few that we actually need to utilize the inner fields in the late beginning for the bulk of the council area, not having an effect of one supply. So, it is a major, major issue. And then, uh, I mean, we'd rather like to clarify that because for many of the others, they could be 30, 40, 50, 100 units, but it seems to be that, 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 that there is a consensus to some of them that are being implemented. I know because they're, they're trying to promote their own applications that hold their principal figures in relation to a non effective one supply and are the correct timing. Yeah, well, I think that's the case. As you just said, we have a new talk about how we are doing some of the new knowledge that there is indeed a shortage as we have a campaign that started. We have the application of others for us and have tweaks it like that. Um, the issue of calculation is an ongoing issue we want to be focused. It's an issue that has been being addressed across the country. Um, we still maintain that to stand at the moment. My colleagues will agree with us that we are a top of the view that. What's supposed to be the report of funding and information is what we calculate to be the deficiency for all the views, what they can use on a daily basis. And indeed, there are other fields where that has been recognised recently as a major field of the Olympic that has been published recently as a report of the NAP field. Of course, it's missing the field that we're going to get into focusing on the effect of this one. Chief of the field of the compound calculation, where it's an accumulation of new drawings for the year. That's getting into semantics and detail on that, but I think what, what's important here, because I've already handed this morning, is that we are expecting an examination of the report of by the end of this month, as I said this morning, so that we've not had anything otherwise to get that to get laid. So that will probably be very crucial, and that will obviously provide findings and conclusions from the report of all the time the figure of all the technical issues will be addressed. And more importantly, in the context of the it will also identify the site to be found, but I would just reiterate your highlight that in the report we identified another area that will see the chief growth of ONS and it doesn't exist. Okay, thank you. 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 The concerns regarding the What I can say is that we have to be able to do that for the next one. We have to be able to Therefore, while there, have, there has been a steady deal supporting information submitted with this application, um, there has been a published assessment done. And what, what will have to happen is that a uh, further detail of the shoot plan permission be granted, then it will have to be looked at in a bit more detail. But the indicative layer that has been submitted in support of the application does show sustainable urban drainage uh, provision on the site where the general principles of sustainable urban drainage as you're aware is to ensure that, that the development should just go ahead. This must ensure that the drainage runoff and the drainage associated with this development should still re uh, replicate the green field state of that site. So it has to be a form of extended based on that site for the water. Obviously, there are further issues that are ongoing between the party party to this particular application. But what the key thing is is that this this site being proposed should not exacerbate the drainage situation of existing areas now. And the calculations and the reports that have been done to date, albeit at a high level, uh, have, have been done by our colleagues in the our team and also by Steve Park who have not raised objections. So in, in principle, the drainage strategy is acceptable, but again, it's the general view. Okay, thank you. Thanks for that. Okay.
en que esas vayas. Y para que ustedes, una suerte de nuestros vayas, que se encuentran en la reunión, o de su noche de nieve, de su tiempo correcto, 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 de su tiempo correcto,
clearly the good opportunity of the John Muir Way uh, and uh, of the strategic situation we should get off this to the site to go far to John Muir Way and what as well. Set of conversations, rules uh, are high as well as acceptable, um, and the Scottish Water uh, proposals and analysis have been undertaken, so we do need to provide resources uh, on, on the site. Uh, and uh, people are other wise that there's no progress in that particular obligation. A call to transport planning has also been a very acceptable subject to a number of requirements in the protocol year of 2018 Other consultations I'd like to draw attention to is on the children's services. You can see in the protocol year, starting at 6.21 or page 91, um, that there's capacity at a number of the schools. The issue being is that Graham High School uh, clearly that there's a need to make a proactive contribution for Graham High School virtual experience capacity issues. It is an expired term year, so you see in other appropriate concern what that contribution amounts to per uh, unit. And we see also the much provision, which is an issue we have to get away on, and that there are staff obligations for this capacity. No objections have been raised with Scottish Water, but some of you might be aware that there's a lot of water room that's on the Scottish site, eh, and that has to be closed down within the annual act of May. It has been sent to the National Scholar of uh, Matthew State. But who uses the positive as it applies to make sure that access, if it's part of school, is used in that area, eh, to make sure that the terminology is doing the work, and hopefully the upper part to previously add the calendar of the school itself as part of the year. Um, again, uh, the other issue that we've got to to is again the HMS Port Valley. It's similar to the previous report. There's an ongoing dialogue with the HMS Port Valley. Contribution figure that's been identified as now is 1,555 pounds per visit a year. And that we will, again, as I said, similar to the prior report, there's an ongoing dialogue with the HMS Port Valley illness, and that figure may well fluctuate in terms of that. Thank you, we're all fine. I've already highlighted the front of the that we've got in front of us. However, at this point in time, it's been just a positive departure. Again, this is a little broken record here. Again, housing land supply is a shortfall. We've got to have a capacity of 500,000 units. And this provision in the year of the world plan is the plan to show the provision of the year 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 uh, in, in that regard, there is a shortfall and that is a priority of what should be looked at first of all. However, the elements of this room is the table when it's a patient to hold the lane and to make up for a new home in the road and to move as a bus route. Obviously, it's a point that has been used to it is something used for grazing, albeit it has been used as plans for over 50 years. And there is some merits uh, in, in this application to be considered. In terms of time to material considerations, uh, it, it, it's a particular application of emerging the uh, development plan, as I've already mentioned before, the area is close to winter adoption later in the summer. But uh, what is different here is that we are emerging the winter adoption plan, we identify the winter plan sites as residential. And therefore, a great piece of weight, uh, given the fact that the winter plan is now at a advanced stage, the stage of the plan, the fact that the site is identified. Is we have a strong material consideration in this regard. Uh, and more importantly, the site that will be proposed for affordable housing and to provide a variety of house types and tenures uh, across the site and uh, of a good mix. And it also meets uh, the, the, the policy of the main streets and place making and the out. The other point we need to draw attention to is that in terms of the bus provision on New Hall Road, Road one in addition to the rate of access we need to make, there will also be a grade, uh, uh, an access population use access bus stop uh, across the site of New Hall Glen Road as well as part of the sure competitive connectivity. So, to conclude, uh, for us, uh, in terms of uh, this application before you, but it's, uh, it's not according to the current grant plan, the one we have in the, the key uh, consideration for all sorts here and the end of the year is that. Um, the, 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 the
and supported. However, I did note the end of the recommendation as a major to the farm production, which would require the following to find to be managed. The reason for our mind is coming to October is that we will have a significant departure from the one farm in the case. However, the local authority has an interest in the impact of the potential as well as the impact of the farm to be managed. Thank you very much. I'm open up the floor and then take the floor as well as you can get. Thank you. Okay. I've got some concerns about the area that we have to go forward. First of all, the original pressure on the road seems to be the development of the number of the streets that we are investing. It's actually double what's within the area at present at top level. Let's go Well, so in terms of any 
deficiencies will have to be proportionate and identified for any other contributions to form the back of our application. Uh, this one can tell you that the last two contributions were well, just added to the report. The report is that on the one going mile, we've had a pair of slightly there will still be a need for a contribution to the So, in addition to the education contribution, it's also going to have to be a contribution to the need of the health day. Well, this act of formal data five might be also a very good result. So, we have to deal with it. But in general, the thing is that one contribution will have to be forced to identify it. So, we're going to have to map it to be seen to have an impact and not on that particular a deficiency. And at this point, we're going to talk about the deficiency in a lot of other than education and the other. Thank you. Thank you. Is it possible that that has been decided and results which have made it decided from that would be involved in that story? Is that possible? Thank you. Okay, thank you. 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 But we need to be very careful that we treat every application. Uh, and so, yeah, we'll just say that the previous application that is outside the local development plan, you know, is going to be included. Uh, so, all those members, Mr. Moody, the advice he gave me at the very start, and I became a member. Public perception is always an utmost pressure. Uh, so we should be very careful when we're deciding on each one that we give the right reasons. And I would probably propose a uh, recommendation of the Okay, thank you. Is that seconded for that? Person the pocket? Uh, well, it's not my way. Right. Uh, 
like a little bit of life here, a little bit of 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 a little
Uh, inequality A was deemed as acceptable. It was such a primary time that the ocean was given the electricity, a condition to be attached to the five ocean used in the fourth plane. And then go to the other side, the impact of the junction A on the other degree was deemed as being considered acceptable, uh, and there was no capacity issues on that on, on that location. It was acknowledged going back to this, it was a dormitory. And took part of the region on the cabin of the year itself, and there was no people on the bridges there, and it was the nice to have the station to look back down this way as well. Uh, and it was also considered at the point in time there isn't much service using the cabin of the region, and bus provision would be okay. No objections were raised from Scottish Water. Um, Skipper had originally raised some concerns at the outset, but following these amendments to the project of section of the committee, Skipper has concluded that. Coming to education, uh, you see from uh, the paragraph, uh, paragraph 4.7, uh, there would be some capacity issues in respect of the range primary school, uh, and obviously that, that figure has been concluded as what would be required under the current guidelines uh, that exist for uh, education contributions. I would add that there have been a follow-up date for Mr. T, uh, very recently at the end of last week, just to make you a clarity on the matter that the proposed funds for training units have been indicated at this point in time. These can be either according to the limits of the primary schools, which in fact it is, um, uh, it is estimated that there may be 78 additional pupils at the school and the school is available at this time, so there's no uh, capacity issues in this case there. Uh, and there's an additional four pupils uh, to, to attend St. Mungo's, uh, and again, the government would accommodate. There have been some uh, discussions with corporate uh, education services, particularly in terms of the contribution to the current proposed solution. 15% is the criteria that has been mentioned in the data. However, the detail of that, how that would be, be uh, actually, how we work out what that would actually uh, be able to achieve. Nevertheless, uh, there have been some discussions between the applicants and their colleagues on that. No objections have been raised from Scotland and from Scotland, because it should be noted that the site also falls in the buffer zone of the Anthony Mall versus the site. And there was an issue that came up with archaeology and the history of the site after two determination hearings uh, at the end of last year. And prior to the applicants deciding to appeal this one determination, they did undertake an archaeological study and a write a report to our own archaeologists, and it's clear that there's no immediate concerns to be raised in that regard. As with any applications which they have, archaeological history that is important for them in the law, they could be conditioned attached to cover any archaeological data and any recovery when the claim is made. No authority during the history of the limitation of the race, no objections were raised by the full authority, which was not a condition. And like we've heard earlier this morning already in the time of the NHS Valley, again, we have a couple of letter from the NHS. On the same line as we heard this morning, they decided to cross the road. That again there is a contribution that's been sought. This figure is currently in the process of being redefined, and as an act of dialogue with the office of confidential and the office of the we to deal with that issue. Notwithstanding the fact that there are capacity issues uh, and things planned for practices in that area this spring. There are a number of rights of way that also fall within the site, and again, it's not just rights of way to try to accommodate me, but for a combination of events that should not be used for coming, they would be a reasonable no objection. On the terms of other representations, you see the community council have objected to this application because the site is not allocated in the real plan, and they do raise concerns with regard to additional capacity for access uh, on Calvin Way. There will also be a total of 400, sorry, 140 public representations, each with 530 objections. The details of these are highlighted in the reports for your consideration. Coming to the development plan, it currently is uh, not identified uh, in, in the development plan for housing. It lies out of the village of the limits. Uh, it's called in a special limits area as well. And therefore, the, the key issue you liked before is there is the knowledge of the shortfall in the housing land supply, and therefore, where this uh, does occur, there is provision in the development plan area. On authority, the urban site, first of all, brownfield site, then which will be the lease site thereafter. And as you will see in the report, there is a 
really concerned that what we're just going to do is tight. And you know, it's it, uh, it, this is a lot of fear, but it's a really common community in the U.S. and it's not sustainable in, in that regard. Um, in terms of material considerations, and again, some of the issues that we keep on talking about in relation to the other applications, the same principles apply. Uh, in terms of your emerging development plan, we are expecting again very, very soon the end of the course of the examination, and there are the next steps to conclude the adoption uh, in the summer of uh, LDP2. And for the LDP2, LDP2 does not identify the site as a site preferable for this on our right. For the property road, again, the strategic objectives for housing release is then placed there, and they are identified as the wrong and it's not the time. That that we manage to have a place. Particularly when the LDP2 is expecting that the actual housing need for actual housing is not going to be more than the housing need to be one. So, after the last half of time, that this LDP2 process will start to be satisfactory to accommodate the housing needs without having any such a thing, such a list of such a big application that's before you this morning. So, to conclude, if you look at the conclusions, you see the how highlighted the pros and cons of this application and the logic of the benefits. They found a few problems with the government, and this might have been half equally, but I've shown concerns, I don't know which concerns I've already highlighted to you this morning. And I think it's a bit of a shift again in the importance that it would be to us to support this application and in light of the imminent AI and adoption of LDP2. So, with that in mind, the Office of Recommendation is not to support, and as I already have it earlier, this is an appeal based on determination. So, you will see from the recommendation that we're asking that you consider the report and that you react to the report and consider the report and the statement attached to the appendix one in the submission that the person put to uh, the Department of Funding and Appeals, the reporters and the Enforcement Court. Uh, and the are going to refuse the final application and this is the reason that it's in the report and to indicate the DCA as it has to do in the event that the report that is unwilling to support it, we have attached a series of conditions that we would break the report of reconsideration to be determined to support the application. Thank you, Paul. 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 Anyone else who is in favor? The idea that the dog is out of the way. The idea that there were some very good points raised by the community and the developer on that occasion. It was a very balanced event and the quality of contribution on both sides was significant. The one Criteria that is, is, is jumping in and, and just slapping us in the face is the position of the university on the one and the other and the And uh, nowhere within these two documents is there uh, any mention of uh, this particular site being included within the urban land. Uh, the uh, set of the board or the set again, the local development plans are our plans. The, Represent the consultation process with the communities and they, they represent the open and accountability of the planning process. The, uh, I'm disappointed with the contractor and I'm disappointed with the developer. The contractor did stop the, the solution through the, the, the reporter. I really believe that they have a, a, a far greater say, but I would hope that the report will recognize the, the post proximity of LDP2 to the process and the responsibility of the stage where the, uh, that, that particular process is about to conclude. And the, the, uh, then it was a completely different ballgame in relation to any perceived deficit of land. Uh, the, uh, with that progress, I would like to remove the, the recommendations contained within the report against 
the application being done uh, according to the project. Uh, the uh, guidance of Mr. Guidance, the committee, uh, quite significant, I believe, quite compelling. Uh, the, uh, we, do, we don't have uh, the, I don't think we have, we have the, the measure of this particular application, the implications. Without the input of the officers in the particular matter. And the ground and the move, we don't recommend uh, except the first of all, we recommend rejection. All grounds are being listed by the right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thomas Hitchin, any council member? Yes. Thank you very much for the 